Have you ever looked up and seen a bird sitting calmly on a power line, just chilling like it's no big deal, and mm -hmm. thought to yourself, wait, isn't that thing dangerous? Because we all know, if a human touches a high voltage wire without protection, it's game over. So how come birds can sit there, completely unfazed, and not get fried? Is it because they're light? Because they've got feathers? Or are birds just immune to electricity? Spoiler alert, it's none of those things. But the real reason is way more fascinating. And it'll totally change how you see electricity. Let me explain. First, we need to understand one simple truth. Electricity doesn't just attack things randomly. It always wants to move, but it needs a reason to move. Think of it like this. Electricity is like water. It wants to flow, but only from high ground to low ground. In electrical terms, that's called voltage. Electricity flows from where there's high voltage to where there's low voltage, and its biggest goal? To get to the ground. That's home base. So, what happens when a bird lands on a power line? It's touching only one wire. Both its little feet are planted on the same wire. And more importantly, that wire has the same voltage all along it. So, guess what? There's no difference in voltage between one foot and the other. No difference, meaning no flow of electricity through the bird's body. It's kind of like standing in a perfectly still river. If the water isn't flowing downhill, it just stays where it is. That's why the bird's totally fine. Electricity keeps flowing through the wire, like it always does, and just ignores the bird. But here's where it gets interesting. That safety only lasts as long as the bird follows one rule, only touch that one wire. Now imagine the bird stretches its wing or tries to hop onto another wire. And that second wire? It has a different voltage. Now the bird's body is caught between two points that electricity can travel through. Suddenly, it becomes a bridge, a path that electricity can use to flow from one voltage level to another. And when electricity sees a path, it takes it, fast. The moment that happens, the bird becomes part of the circuit. And yes, it's usually fatal. Let me give you a simple way to picture it. Think about you walking on a treadmill. Everything's steady. You're matching the pace. Now imagine suddenly stepping onto another treadmill, going a different speed. Your balance is thrown off. You lose control. That's kind of what happens when voltage changes suddenly. The balance is broken. Electricity flows through whatever's in the way, including the bird. Now, here's a question a lot of people ask. Why can't humans just touch the wire the same way and be safe too? Great question. And here's the answer. Technically, if you could somehow grab a single high voltage wire without touching anything else, not the ground, not another wire, not even a wet pole, You'd be just like the bird, and you'd be fine. But in real life, that's nearly impossible. You'd either be standing on the ground, or leaning on a ladder, or touching something else that's grounded. And the moment you give electricity a path to flow through your body and down to the earth, boom, you're not safe anymore. You're now the shortcut for the electricity to reach the ground. That's why power line workers wear heavy rubber gloves, rubber boots, and are often lifted by insulated machines. Because if they ever touch a wire and something else at the same time, it's over. Now here's something most people don't know. Birds aren't the only ones up there. Squirrels, raccoons, even monkeys in some parts of the world. They all climb poles and walk on wires but they're much more active than birds. They jump, they stretch, they explore. And when they touch two wires, or one wire and something grounded, just like that, they complete the circuit. 
the electricity flows through them, and the results are usually deadly. In fact, a surprising number of power outages are caused by animals making that mistake. Not a broken wire, not lightning, just a curious squirrel. Sad, but true. So, let's bring it all together. Birds don't survive high voltage wires because they're magical. They survive because they don't give electricity a reason to pass through them. They stay in balance. They stay on one line. They don't create a path to another voltage or to the ground. It's not luck. It's not superpowers. It's just science and instinct. They follow the rules without even knowing the rules. And honestly, there's something beautiful about that. Because in a world full of chaos, power, and danger, these tiny creatures survive. Not by being stronger or smarter, but by simply knowing where to stand. That says something, doesn't it? Sometimes, survival isn't about fighting power. It's about understanding it and respecting it. So, now that you know the secret behind birds and power lines, What's one invisible rule in life you've learned to follow that keeps you safe or balanced, but hardly anyone talks about? Let's talk about it in the comments. I'm really curious to hear your thoughts.